Shanghai is China's largest city and busiest port after Hong Kong. To match the growth of the city and region, the municipal government decided to build what will be the largest container port in the world. The container terminals will be built in phases at Yangshan Island, 30 kilometers offshore in order to obtain sufficient draft for the largest container ships currently in service and planned. The planned Yangshan Deep Water Port is a state-of-the-art container terminal that employs RTGs and chassis hustler combinations. Phase 1, which is already under construction, will be completed in two stages. Stage 1 is comprised of five berths and Stage 2 will add four more for a total continuous wharf 3,000 meters long. Additional phases are planned that will add three to five berths in each phase, depending upon demand. When completed, the facility will encompass 30 berths or more. To meet the stated goal of building the most advanced container port in the world and to do so in the most cost-effective manner, Lewis Berger in conjunction with Automated Terminal Systems of Washington, D.C. has recommended the introduction of full automation at Yangshan. To take advantage of the land reclamation underway and provide a base for future expansion in advance of the Phase II plan, the LBG team recommended that all gate operations be relocated to the Intermodal and Logistics Support Facility, or ILSF, on the mainland. In addition to reducing land requirements by more than 40%, separating gate operations from berth operations will increase efficiency at both locations. Only containers with a dwell of less than 24 hours will reside at the container terminals. Initially, transfer between the ILSF and the container terminals will be by a fleet of dedicated chassis hustler combinations, further enhancing efficiency and safety. In Stage 2 of Phase 1, large rail-mounted gantry cranes RMGs, will replace the RTGs. Fully automated RMGs and complementary equipment will first be installed on berths 6 through 9. IACT is comprised of large, fully automated, monobox RMGs, 100 meter span, 60 meter gauge, capable of stacking 1 over 9, the ISO limit for loaded containers, truckload unload stations, stationary overhead cranes supplemented with shuttle cars to receive and deliver containers, large conveyors, Provide translation between container yards or blocks. Shuttle cars. Provide long move translation between berths so that containers can be moved easily and rapidly between line haul or RTW ships and feeders while both vessels are on berth. Bidirectional two-tier key conveyors. Allow two-way moves when loading and discharging ships. Once Phase 1 Stage 2 is complete, it will have enough capacity to fully absorb the traffic of Phase 1 Stage 1 and allow the replacement of RTGs on berths 1 through 5 with RMGs, conveyors and shuttle cars. Truckload unload stations will replace top picks and RTGs that service the chassis hustlers in Phase 1. Once this equipment is in place, a shuttle car system will replace the chassis hustlers for moving containers between the container facility and the ILSF. Once the shuttle car system is in place, the truck load unload stations will be fully automated. Shuttle cars will also replace chassis hustler operations on berths 6 through 9. At this point, all container operations at Yangshan will be fully automated. To illustrate how the automation system works, we will follow an export container as it moves through the facility. Export containers are received at the load unload stations, where the container is removed from the chassis and delivered to a shuttle car. If there is an import container for that trucker or shuttle car, it will be delivered at that load unload station.
Container processing is initiated when the RMG picks a container from the shuttle car and places it at a point of rest in the container yard. The automated system will sort the containers in the process of moving the containers toward the appropriate berths for the loading on board the proper ship. Moves between container yards are accomplished by the landside RMG placing a container on a conveyor and the waterside RMG picking the container from the conveyor and placing it in the waterside container yard. The key conveyors allow two-way moves against the ship once a sufficient number of containers have been discharged. The ship-to-shore cranes are equipped with anti-sway and full automation over the wharf. Operations over the ship are semi-automated. Additional operational flexibility is provided by the shuttle car system that allows shifting of containers between hatches of the same ship or between vessels on berth at the same time. Benefits Further reduction in land requirements Reductions in equipment counts Increased efficiency Increased equipment availability. Increased equipment reliability. Increased stack density. Increased throughput. However, that is not the complete story. Automation at Yangshan and the introduction of the shuttle car system will allow the introduction of similar systems at the land side ILSF and similar benefits. The ILSF supports port operations as well as local industrial development. The Lewis Berger team has recommended that the rail intermodal facility be relocated and reoriented. The customs facility be equipped with cover inspection areas serviced with RMGs and overhead cranes. The barge basin be reoriented to allow parallel and perpendicular landside operations. The hazardous cargo segregation area be relocated. And gate operations are configured to complement and support the fully automated operations at the container terminal. When completed, all facilities within the ILSF will be serviced with shuttle cars and RMGs. The rail intermodal facility will accommodate both truck and shuttle car operations in order to support local industrial development. Operational benefits and land savings similar to those of the container terminal will be realized at the ILSF. The use of RMGs will allow further operational efficiencies, particularly in gate operations, the customs examination process, and at the rail intermodal facility. All gate operations for receipt and delivery of containers to trucks takes place at this consolidated area. Traffic entering from the highway proceeds to the gates where entering trucks are assigned a sequential number and a lane number. The driver proceeds to the staging area where a large electronic signboard displays the trucker's assigned number and lane. When a truck station is available, the trucker's assigned number flashes on the signboard and the station assignment is displayed. The trucker proceeds to his assigned station. An operator at the truck station will complete the second step in a double-blind test of the container number and initiate the container pick. All receipt, delivery, and storage of containers takes place here. Only active containers are in the container terminals. The shuttle car transports containers to and from the container terminals on Yangshan Island. In Chinese ports, 
10% of all import cargoes and 5% of all export cargoes are subject to customs inspection. In order to make this process efficient and not impede the flow of commerce, LBG and ATS have designed a customs area that employs the same advanced cargo handling technologies as the container terminals and gates and separate undercover areas for import and export containers, as well as an x-ray facility. In the customs area, trucks are processed in the same manner as at the container gates. Similarly, Import containers are delivered by the shuttle car system and export containers are transported to the container terminals by the shuttle cars. Containers designated for inspection are moved from the container yard by RMGs and placed in a receipt and delivery area adjacent to the appropriate inspection building. Those areas are accessible by overhead cranes that service the inspection bays. The cranes move the containers into an assigned bay where customs officers can inspect the cargo. Once the inspection is completed, the container is moved to the receipt delivery area by the overhead cranes and then placed in the container yard by an RMG. Import containers are delivered to trucks and export containers are delivered to shuttle cars. Operations at the inland barge intermodal facility are virtually identical to those at the container terminals, except that the ship-to-shore cranes and conveyors can be downsized. Since this facility is intended to serve ocean trades exclusively, there is no provision for chassis hustler or truck operations. However, if the situation changes, the load-unload stations are easily modified to accept trucks as well as shuttle cars. An alternative arrangement to support local industry is recommended for the rail intermodal facility. The rail intermodal facility is designed to serve the port and local industry and it is equipped with load unload stations for trucks as well as shuttle cars. Operations at the RIF are similar to those at the container terminals, gates and customs facilities. A feature that further enhances efficiencies across all container operations. Employment of RMGs at the RIF allows significant savings in land and a unique and highly efficient method for servicing container unit trains. This facility consists of two yards serviced by RMGs. The first is a standard design similar to that recommended for all other facilities. The second is devoted to servicing trains. In this arrangement, Rail spurs are serviced by the RMGs within a footprint that is 100 meters wide. Prior to train arrival, containers for that train are staged along the rail spurs to which the train will be assigned. The containers are arranged in the reverse order that they will be stowed on board the train. Once the train is at rest and the groundwork is completed, the discharge and loading of the train can take place. Yard workers use a specially designed motorized platform to remove and replace the inner block connectors, or IBCs, on double stacked trains while the rail cars are serviced by the RMGs. Once the train is loaded, the same RMGs will move the discharge containers into the container yard for delivery to either trucks for local delivery or to shuttle cars for delivery to the container terminal. Full implementation of the team's recommendations will allow the Yangshan Deepwater Port to handle up to two and a half times the throughput of a conventional RTG facility on less than half the land. In the process, equipment reliability and availability will exceed 99%, while equipment counts and acquisition costs will be reduced. The future of container terminal operations in the 21st century is being engendered through the cooperation of the U.S. and Chinese governments and the exemplary working relationship between the Lewis Berger Group, Automated Terminal Systems, and the Shanghai Municipal Port Authority.